Hi, I'm Jonathan. I've been teaching VectorWorks for a long time, and I'm always amazed when a new version of VectorWorks comes out, how much they have done to help us out. And the thing I'm thinking about today is this new on-screen view control. You can see it's got named edges here, top, right, back. You can click on that side, and it'll take you to the back. Click on the corner, it'll take you to a 3D view, 3D view there, 3D view there. Click on the top view, click on this little button here. I'm in a top plane view. In this case, I'm in a rotated top plane. Click on it again, I'm back to a 3D view. Click on one of these corners. And the other thing is just click on the middle of this, I'd call it a dice, it's a truncated cube. But click on this cube and you can rotate your view around as if you were holding down the control and the middle mouse wheel button. But now it's all one-handed. You can just do it with one hand. And I've got some clients who really struggle with the double-handed with the modifier key. This is really going to help them out a lot, this ability just to move around. You can click on one of these named faces, and it just takes you straight there. There's a face there. It takes you there. And this is going to be just a major change in the way we deal with Vectorworks. I do love having these axes so I know where I am. I can click and drag that around, and I can move my view, and it works really well. If you've got a selected object like I have, when you click, it'll center on that object. It's really cool. So if I click on the tables and chairs, click on a different view, there it is. It's just changed around. I've centered on those table and chairs. I think this is going to be a great improvement. I'm looking forward to getting to use this. Hey, thanks for watching. There's a whole lot of what's new in 2025 movies coming. So become a subscriber, hit the bell so you get notified and keep your eye on my channel. Thanks for watching.